huge Tyra Show survey, tyrashow.com survey, where we asked teens and young women about sex, STDs, and pregnancy. So, um, Leslie, tell me about you right now. Uh, you're with child. Yes, I am now 35 weeks pregnant. So, what does that uh, add up to? About eight and a half months. So, you're ready to deliver pretty yes. much any day. And how old are you? I am 17. You got pregnant when you were 16? Yes. And tell me what happened. The whole thing started out was I usually always use condoms. We got caught up in the moment. We decided to have unprotected sex. About six weeks later, I missed my period. I tried to deny it. After that, I finally went to the store. I just grabbed every test off the shelf. Where did you take the preg pregnancy test? I actually took them at my house. My mother was not home. Okay. She was out, and I took all the tests. They all came out positive. I was still really scared denying it, so I decided to go to my OB. And Your OBGYN, the doctor? Yes. Mm -hmm. And when they tested me, they said I was positive. They did the ultrasound and showed me the baby's heartbeat. I just broke down in tears. Happy tears? No, I was more scared mm -hmm. and terrified because I didn't know how my future was going to end. Where's the, where's the guy? I'm actually not with him no longer. Okay. We do not speak. He's actually, since like three days ago, he's been denying my daughter the baby I'm carrying. Are you going to get a paternity test? I actually want to have a DNA test done just to show him that he's the baby's father. Mm -hmm. I think that's important. And we're not that talk show that's going to do that. <laughs> but I do think that's important because he did have something to do with this and he does have a responsibility now. He as well decided not to put on a condom, so it is equally his responsibility. But the difference is, as a man, it's his responsibility financially with the law. But socially, whose responsibility is it usually that it lands on to take care of the baby? The mama. And you understand that, and you've accepted yes. that. Okay, Bernadette. Yes. Tell me about you. Um, me and my boyfriend, we uh, were using condoms, and I guess something just went wrong. And for a month, I like missed my period, and I was kind of, I didn't like want to accept it. Mm -hmm. And so. We were actually at a drugstore with a couple of our friends, and I just kind of had a feeling just to hurry up and get it done with. So um, I bought a pregnancy test and went to the bathroom, and I took it in the went bathroom. The bathroom in the drugstore? Yes. And I was with a couple of my friends, and I sat there, and I like looked, and it came up positive, and I was like, great. So then... And how old are you? 16. 16. Yes. So then I went and I showed my friends, and they told me, you know, like, well... Let's go tell your boyfriend. And he was actually outside waiting, and he was in the parking lot. I went up to him, and I told him, I was like, I'm pregnant. And he just looked at me like he was in shock and, like, just went for a walk around the parking lot. I would, too. <laughs> okay. We're going to move on to another big issue in the survey, which is girl fights. Over 5,000 teens and young women told us that they'd hit someone out of anger. So let's go to uh, Shawanda. Tell me about you, you and girl fights. There was a girl that said something smart to you. She had a crush on your ex-boyfriend, and you didn't get along mm. with this girl. She said something smart to you, made you angry, and you did what? We was in the science lab, and she said something to me, and I ended up smacking her across her face. And you, so you hit her in the face? Yes. And the teacher was in the science lab and everything? And the teacher came and broke it up, but mind you, we were in the science lab, so I took a test tube, and I threw it in her eye, and she had to go to the nurse. You smile when you say that. I mean, it's nothing good. It didn't hit me until I got home, and I realized, like, you know, I let my anger take over, and I shouldn't have done that. But you that. smiled a little when you said you threw the test tube. Yeah. I saw a little twinkle. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all saw it. <laughs> there, was, there was a little twinkle. Where is that? Do you think she got what she deserved, even though you hit her in the eye with a test tube? You could be honest. Uh, in the end, because she said stuff about me and other people that had nothing to do with it. So you feel like, yeah, she got what she deserved. Yeah. yeah okay. Um, and what happened to you? Did you get suspended? Um, yeah, for two weeks. For two weeks. I think it should have been longer <laughs> for throwing a test tube. That's glass. She could have uh, put her eye out. Amy was um, on the other, other end of this. She was actually the victim of a fight caught on tape. Check this out. That sounded like a bunch of birds. Like egging this on. You were the girl on the bottom, being yeah. beaten up. Yeah. Okay, so so tell me what happened. 
Well, everybody looks at me and they see an innocent girl that don't look like she's done anything bad. But the day before that happened, they had been calling me, telling me that they were going to do all kinds of stuff to me. I just, I just kind of try to shake it off because I know that people like to call other teens and, and say crazy things. And your mom picked up the phone one day, and what did they say to your mother? They just kept being disrespectful, disrespectful to her, like they were doing to me, telling her the same stuff, saying that they were going to kill her, yeah, that kind of stuff, and beat like. her up. Okay, so then your mom gave them your address. Yeah. Well, I don't get that. You gave him the address, Mom? No. You said, if you want to come I, beat me up, here's the address? No, I just told him to come over so I knew who I was dealing with because, I mean, at that point, it was just people on the phone. I need to see what I was dealing I kinda with. I kind of like that a little bit. So, <laughs> I mean, a yeah, so I, I did tell him to come over, So that yes. they can identify themselves right, and see. Right. So did so they could, come? Yeah, they did at 4 o'clock in the morning. What? Yeah. And right. you identified these children? Yeah, at 4 o'clock in the morning, they were out in front of my house, and then my husband went out to um, talk to them, and they ran. And then they automatically started calling Amy again, saying that, you know, oh, you sent your stepfather out to take care. Which led to, to this fight later in a park. Right, the next day. Gosh, okay. So you've taken some <laughs> self-defense classes to defend yourself? Yeah. Tell me about that. Well, I figured that this can happen anywhere, anytime. It almost happened a few days after that happened, again. So I decided that I wanted to take self-defense classes so I can kind of defend myself if it happens again. Is, do you enjoy the girl fighting a little bit? Is there um, anything about that you enjoy? I don't, I don't enjoy it. I don't promote it, but I engage in it. I understand that you're the finisher. What does that mean? Like, I'm not going to start a fight, but if it comes up to me and if someone wants to fight me, I will finish it. I'm scared. Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back.